as usual for a roughing operation, we need to set up a stock definition. Um, so, I mean, we would like to tell the system, okay, this is the stock, the initial stock, and in this way we tell the system what kind of material and which material it has to remove. Um, to set up the stock material, we just go to the roughing page and enable the stock definition. Here, we hit the button and then we can make a, a stock type definition. And um, I don't want to use the bounding box in this case. I mean, I could use the bounding box because the part is uh, basically a box, right? But I have prepared a, actually a, a geometry for this. Geometry for this. So we just select surfaces, and um, by hitting the stock surface button, I will go back to my user interface, and now I can make the selection for the stock. Um, the stock is on a different layer, so I will just hide this layer here, and I get get my uh, stock definition layer. So this is my stock. Stock is the simple cube. Oops. And uh, we select the the stock. Confirm. And hit OK. OK. I think that's all we need to set up for the first operation here. We have done our part definition. We uh, selected uh, some parameters. We set up some parameters. Um, we set up the linking, and we have done the stock definition. Let's confirm and see what the first tool pass looks like.